for us. Why else would it stop here? Looks heavy. Yeah, it's no problem. I'll, I'll get it all here on the deck in the flash. You? Yeah, me. Uh, and, your, and your dad? Amish? Kay and David? Thanks, Arnie. You see, He's I leaving. love the lemon He's that checking the ropes. Oh, fire in the scenery, huh? Can you take some cargo for me the day after tomorrow? Anything, anywhere. On the Murray, that is. Well, what are we going to do about the fuel we need? Nothing we can do. No money, no fuel. Bye. Hi. Dad, we can't go anywhere unless we have the bucks to buy wood. Oh, don't worry, Sarah. Something will turn up. <laughs> hey, can't the wood dude extend your credit? You're already on heaps. Hey, guys, look what I found in the hole. Yeah. Hand. yeah. <sighs> Looks old. Yeah, really old. Anything in it? No, nothing much. What's this? Corusa. Looks like an old used hanky. It's got drawings on it. Oh. Looks like a map. Uh, it's just an old hanky. Look, it's not like any alphabet I've ever seen. Depends on where you're sitting. Always check your back, dude. Look at this, look at this. See, hold, hold it, hold it, uh, hold it like this. It's written back to front, see? Check it out. Follow the snake that silvers neath the moon. What's that little undertaker up to you now? Find a point without a knife or spoon. Yeah, turn when the light first falls upon your lace. The face, not lace. Okay, um, step a leap, you're towards that way of pace. Look for why a sapling stands on show. There my greatest treasure lies below. Makes no sense, so it's gotta be poetry, huh? But it said treasure. Hey, wait a sec, that's a signature. See, um, it's, a, it's a signature. Yeah. Uh, Captain... Captain Candlestick. Captain Candlestick. Candlelight. All right. Captain Candlelight, he's that famous bush ranger. He ripped off heaps of stuff, Jack, heaps. Dude, dude, what if this really is some kind of treasure map, huh? What if we've got... Hey, what you got there, Chucky? Wouldn't you like to know, butthead? Oh. I want that map. You have to agree that's a fair sum for an old tub like this. Not interested, Mrs. Littlemore. I happen to know from the fuel merchant that you're in deep financial trouble. The offer might not be so fair next time. If you'll excuse me, yeah, I've got work to do. Think about it, Mr. MacDonald. Sooner or later, the Tingala Rose will be mine. Here, gotcha. Captain Canalite stole a fortune, never recovered, and a Pamble fortune. A Pamble? A huge fortune in opals and sapphires. Turns out this Captain Candlestick dude wore a different disguise every year at this Nepamble race meeting. Candlelight and all the rich farmers came from miles around. Their wives dressed up big time. Yeah, dripping with jewels, right? The captain got them all drunk on moonshine, stole every last gem worth a fortune. Yeah, that's right. I remember some story about my great-grandmother. Lost rubies, diamonds, all the family heirlooms. We'll be filthy, stinking rich! Order the Porsche! <laughs> Oh, and, and we'll pay off the, um, the wood dude, definitely. Could be in Africa for a winner. Exactly, and what about this poetry? Oh, lovely, isn't it? Guys, guys, focus here, focus. Focus. I'm betting all your great-grandma's stuff and more is right here between them, thar, hills. And when we work the clothes out, the treasure will be ours. I could get any clothes I want. I could breed thoroughbreds. I can fix my dad's boat. I could get a space shuttle. The captain. I knew him all right. His real name was Rupert Lovejoy. Rupert Lovejoy? Why not? Seems like a dumb name for a bush ranger, Linda. Hey, candlesticks better. Candlelight, doll. There was nothing dumb about Rupert. He was a gentleman. Through and through. Do gentlemen brew moonshine and illegal stills? Rupert was different. He was a wonderful man. I loved him, you see. Scoundrel. During the day, all his students loved Rupert. But once the school bell rang, Captain Candlelight was a very different sort of fellow. Stand and deliver! He was a bush ranger. Your money, 
Or six of the best. He never carried firearms, mind you. Never heard a soul. How do you know? He always told me the truth. He gave me a ring, you see. We had an understanding. You were engaged? But he wouldn't marry me while his mother was still alive. The old bat. So what happened? He was chased by a possum into the desert. <coughs> they found his remains years later. He didn't have any provisions or even a repair kit. He was forced to eat his mount. Gross. He ate his own horse? Oh, no. Rupert always had the latest technology. He rode a bicycle. They only identified him by his monogram bicycle clips. He ate his own bike? Guys. Guys, when you're starving, you'll eat anything. I, I once ate a sandwich from a gas station. I did. As far as I'm concerned, he deserved every mouthful, selfish devil. Hadn't written for months before he disappeared. Not one lousy word. If he'd only sent me one letter, I might have forgiven him. Fingers, can't you meet Captain Candlelight on the other side and ask him where he hid the treasure? No can do, Chucky boy. One of them big rules, you dig? Besides, I wouldn't be seen dead with a low-down worm like that. So forget it, Buster. So what do we do now? We narrow down the map. Ryan, let's look at another map. You know, there's a fantastic resemblance to Lake Tranquility. Cool. Where's that? The moon. Excellent. Earth to morons. Why don't we try something just a little closer to home? Um. Whoa. Look at that. That's close. It's very, very close. <sighs> How do you pronounce that? Kickabilly Ridge. I used to meet Rupert by the river there. Oh, look, if you don't mind, I don't want him in my thoughts anymore. How about we just, uh, like, get on with the game of 500? Sorry, buddy. All right, check it out. It's a huge area. Yeah, Hamish and I'll work it out. What exactly do you mean by Hamish and I? Hey, we're the ones that have been working on it. What am I, invisible? Technically, it is Linda's. She found it. Fine. Be that way. What are you doing? All we need to find the treasure is this and this. Oh, you're behind before you start. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, yeah? Yeah. OK, we we'll start from here tomorrow. What for? To make sure it's a fair contest. You know, it is a good idea. We can check the poem again before we head off. Real men don't whisper. And real men don't read poetry. Come on, Hamish. Listen, man, if you laugh at me one more time and make me look bad in front of the girls, I'm talking pow straight to the moon. Hey, you boys know what to do. We'll just wind the little undertaker up to he spills his guts. Works every time. Yeah, okay, well then, just do it. Well, sort of. We'll just walk in straight. Pack off, bonehead. What are you doing? How would you like to make a bet with me? I don't bet. Well, I'll bet you that we find the treasure first. Well, you couldn't find it even if you said kick your billy for us for the rest of your life. Well, then we'll follow you and Finn with the map. But Chuck and me haven't even got the map. Aha, uh -huh. well, I reckon it'd be even easier getting it off the girls. In your dreams, Linda will never give it to you. Never. You might as well give it while you still can. Oh, fine, but the bet still stands. Let him go. You know, you mob are hopeless. You never get anything out of me. Why'd you let him go, Tony? He's taught us all we need to know. OK, now you have to get her to leave the bag, OK? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Go, what are you waiting for? Get out. Linda, Linda! Boy, are we glad to see you! We really need some help. What's wrong? Over here, there's this big wombat. Must have got hit by a car or something. Come oh, on. Poor thing. Yeah, it crawled off into the bush. Honestly, it looked really bad. Did you see where it went? Down this way. Oh, 
Linda, my eyes can be really heavy now. I'm gonna leave my bag here just in case we have to carry it. Yes, great idea, Spider. You too, Linda. Okay. Well, come on then, show us where we might be too late. Just sort of go around this way. It's up here. He lost the map. I searched my room 15, six, 14 times and I've been back over my tracks. I simply have no idea where it, it is. It can't just disappear. Well, it was in my bag, but now it's not. If we'd kept the map, we'd have the treasure by now. <sighs> okay, Linda, what did you do after you left us? Did you go straight home? Yes. Did you talk to anyone? No. Yeah, Spider and Davo. Spider and Davo. Oh, great. Well, they were looking for an injured wombat. It was hit and run, but we couldn't find it. But Tiny found what he was looking for. What? Tiny wasn't even there. The map, Linda. Where was the map? It was in my... Oh, no. I left my bag by the side of the road. And Tiny went through it while you were wombat hunting. Ew. Yuck. Now I have to wash everything. It sucks you right in, Linda. How did Tiny know that Linda had the map? Yeah. I might have told him. What? Accidentally. Typical. Hamish, what are you saying? Look, they were hassling me and... You know, you always blab when that happens, Hamish. Oh. Yeah. So what do we do now? Look, forget the we. Hamish and Alice wrote this out. We don't need girls, and we don't need the map. You'd be lost even if you did have it. Hey, look, it. you think... Save it, you... guys. Aren't you forgetting who the enemy is here? Tiny's got the map, and if we don't get there fast, he's going to find the treasure. Follow the snake that silvers neath the moon. So all we've got to do is find a silvery snake, follow it, kneel down, look at the moon. About the knife or spoon bit? That is so obvious. It is? Yeah, chopsticks. In the bush. You'll probably see them when you're kneeling down, the light's in your face, bonehead. Hey, come on, let's go. I want that treasure before Finn gets there. Right, go on, Tony. Travelling light. This is all I need. We walk, we dig, we're rich. Come on, Hamish, don't want to wait around all day for these girls. We leave at the same time. Yeah, we agree to a fair competition. Look, you agreed. It is fair. We could try working together here. We want to get to the treasure before the bandits, don't we? Not unless, unless he, he apologises. Apologizes. OK, at least we know where we stand. Look, y'all ready yet? Hamish, come on. Divided we float, divided we sink. There's something loose in my bag. Just hold this. Hey! May the best man win. Come on, Hamish! Hurry up. Do you think Chuck and Hamish will find the treasure before us? Not a chance. Anyone within 100 metres of Chuck Finn is totally and completely lost. Uh, Hamish, it, okay, it, it's obvious we took a, a wrong turn back there. Did we? Yes, I said we should go left. Did you? Yes, Hamish. Let's go. Come on. Come okay, on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm Come going, on. I'm going. Yep, yep. See? Good, good, good. Totally lost. Look, why don't we ask them for directions? Real men don't ask for directions, especially not from girls. We'd rather be lost. We're lost, all right. Is he making sense yet? Look, those two hills, just like the drone on the map. OK, come on, let's go. All right. You, you don't know what you're looking for. Look, whose side are you on? Sorry to you, Linda. I don't think so. Try again, Maple Boy. No problem, oh. The Finmeister knows when he's wrong. Not. Lucky for you, we actually came prepared. Oh. 
Come on, guys. Let me let go. Finally. You all right? Yeah, absolutely. I was just um, finding a shortcut. Oh, you're lost. Through. Admit it. Yeah. I wouldn't say I was We're lost. We're all I'm lost. Just... And the longer you two go on bickering, the more time Tiny's got to beat us to the treasure. So one more time, guys. Let's work together. <sighs> She's right, Chuck. All right, all right. Finally, he gets a brain. Look, OK, I just wish you remember that poetry. Like, what was it? Mm. Well, there was something about a snake, wasn't yeah, there? Yeah, Follow yeah, the snake that silvers neath the moon. Find a point without a knife or spoon. Turn where the light first falls upon your face. Step a leap here towards that way apace. Look for why a sapling stands on show. There my greatest treasure lies below. How did you do that? Oh, it's easy to remember the beautiful things in life. Why didn't you say something before? Well, no one asked okay, me. Okay, guys, let's take the first clue. Follow the snake that silvers neath the moon. Mm. All right, so do you guys get any um, silver snakes around no, here? this is poetry. Maybe it's something that looks silver in the moonlight, not a real snake, like the river. That's brown. Sure, mm. in the daytime, but I've seen the river go silvery at night. Oh, good thinking, good. Linda. Yeah. Well, so if we follow it, that means we go <laughs> downstream. So, um, what's the next line? Find a point without a knife or spoon. Okay, so if you don't have a knife and you don't have a spoon, what uh, have you got? Chopsticks. A uh, fork. Um, a fork in the river. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, abs guys. Let's go. Look for why a sapling stands on show. Why? Why a sapling? Why not why a sapling? There sure are a lot of them, Tiny. No worries, we'll just check them all out. Yes, the river. Finally, we found it. Now we're finally getting yeah, somewhere. Come on, hurry. Right, right, so, so where the light first falls upon your face. Does that mean up? Towards the sun. Where the sun goes up. The sun rises in the east. East is that way. Step a leap here towards that way a pace. Oh, hold on, hold on. I, I know this one, right? Um, okay, step a pace. Um, no, no, it's gone. Leap here, pace. Steps. There's 366 days in a leap year, right? Right. Yeah. That means we walk 366 paces. To the east. That's it. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. You're right. Why a tree? Why a tree? Why a sapling stands on the show? Why? Why? Probably just a sapling in the shape of a Y. Which is stupid, because I figure now it wouldn't be a sapling anymore. It'd be just some big, humongous tree. Old, dead, probably. Uh, what, what are you looking at? Hurry up, it's in the cat of my treasure, come on! Come on, yeah! You and your stinking treasure, Finn. Yeah. Nothing but a bunch of stupid, shoppy old love letters. Actually, some are quite good. You know, some treasure, Finn. It's all yours, you loser. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe there's a secret compartment. Nothing. That's it? No treasure. No fuel. Dearest Elvira, every day they are getting closer. My dearest, I long to post this to you, but fear dreadfully for your safety. If they guess I'm in any sort of contact with you. So instead we can dream. And in our dreams we meet in safety. And in love. Can you imagine? It's a Western Australian tuppenny ordinary male. And that's good. But there was a mistake in the print run. Mm, big deal, a dud stamp. This hasn't even been postmarked and it's been printed in the wrong colour. I wouldn't mind betting it's worth a couple of thousand dollars at least. Wow. Wait, wait. Wow. A couple of thousand 
thousand. Yes. A couple of thousand big <laughs> ones. Yes. Oh, but it's. Ah, oh, you're welcome to it. What use is a musty old stamp to me? I might be dead, but there's still a lot of life left in the old girl yet. I'm out of here. I'm off to see a man about a bike. Ciao, babies. <laughs> Guys, yeah. we're back in business. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Thanks to Captain Candlelight and Fingers. Hey, cats. This is a beautiful moment. We've saved the Tingala Rose, the greatest treasure of them all. I found the greatest treasure of them all And that treasure is you Yes, indeed, it's you I found the greatest treasure of them all Thank you very much.